Hello, my name is Alejandro from the EFBO team. In this video, I will show you our team's user acceptance testing for the EFBT team Sprint, Sprint 1 pull request. Our contact information is on the screen. My name is Alejandro Perez, this is my, my email address, and this is the, the names and email address of the rest of my team. And the product owner, Dr. Masusa Gianni, and his information, his contact information is here on the screen. So for this test, we'll be showing us, we'll be showing you running uh, our test, our functional test for testing the features added by the FPT team. Uh, we for this test, we assume that the testing environment is already set up and ready to go. Uh, we will be showing you in another video how to set up the testing environment so that you could run the test yourselves. But in this video, it's just the test. So. This is our example. Our test is here on, the, on this folder. We add the folder and we add the test to the folder pertaining to this specific uh, pull request and the specific features that we're testing. And this is an example of one of our tests. We record these tests using the Catalog Recorder and then export them. Again, in another video, we will be showing you how to install the Catalog Recorder and record the videos so you can export them to, to this uh, environment. So once the tests are here and and they're already uh, exported to a C sharp and any unit format, then they're ready to, to be run. The other the other uh, item that we need is to make sure that our local database is running. So here it is and and and, and Docker image running. So once that's done, we're ready to begin testing and the and the folder that contains the functional test we run done a build to build the the program and the testing this gets ready to test this makes the test ready to run so I just see zero errors so we're ready to go and to run the test automated we run dotnet test and this begins running the test it will be automated, it will open the browser window automatically and begin running the tests. There we go. So to run the test, the first test that we're running is, is to log in, is create an account because we need to log in to be able to, to, to test the features added. So we need to uh, create an account first and this is the test creating the account. Once that is done, then we log in with the newly created account. Here's the test. And we make sure that we see the features that were added. As we see, here's the feature, the features. It's a new graphing graph uh, interface. And then we begin doing the test by uh, clicking on the different buttons and selectors added to make sure that they function correctly. We test the, the hamburger button, the different sliders and selectors, the different buttons for the timings, for the graphs. We make sure that we're able to download the graph and print it. Uh, once the data is added to this uh, graph, then we'll be able to run further tests to make sure that data is being analyzed correctly. But for now, we're just testing that the functionality of the buttons and the selectors and all that stuff is, is correct and doesn't make any errors. So this test suite runs all the tests automatically. Make sure all are running correctly. And then it'll tell us if the test pass or fail. So as you can see right here, our test run passed six tests six successful and we're good to go from this point forward we push the test to to big bucket and bamboo takes care of uh running the tests on the pipeline since by the time we're doing these tests the features aren't aren't implemented in in in, in the in the running program it's it's it is just testing to make sure that the program is ready to be de de deployed the test this test that we're testing will fail in bamboo but for the future, when the program is deployed, the, the features are deployed, then the test should pass. So, 
once again, um, my name is Alejandro from the EFBO team. We were testing the FBT Sprints 1 uh, pull request for user acceptance testing. This is our, our team's uh, contact information. We can, you can ask, you can contact us in all these email addresses and our product owner, Dr. Masu Sajani, and this is his contact information. Thank you for watching our video.